Alright, what's up chicas? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video we are going to be doing a tutorial. I called it sunsets tutorial. I kind of like, I don't know, I look at it and it makes me think of a sunset just because I'm, I use a lot of warm colors on my face, on my eyes. <laughs> so if you guys are tuning in for the first time, I have to say welcome to my channel. My name is Frances Michelle and if you want to know a little more information about myself, just go ahead and follow me on my social medias and um, you will know who I am. <laughs> If you want to go ahead and be part of my girlfriends here on YouTube, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and that's it. It'll change your life. So in this video, I will be doing a tutorial and at the end of this tutorial, I will go ahead and be giving you my thoughts, first impression on the new beautiful Jaclyn Hill and Murphy palette. Actually, it's called Murphy and the Jaclyn Hill palette. So if you guys want to see how I achieve this beautiful sunset makeup using the Jaclyn Hill palette, all you have to do is keep watching. Well, hello ladies. So we're starting with a clean face and I'm applying the Urban Decay B6 Prep Priming Spray. This thing is amazing for the face. So I prep all over and then after that, I go in with my L'Oreal uh, Brow Pomade and I go ahead and use an Anastasia uh, brush and go ahead and define my brows. And I take a very long time, guys, to do my brows, so I pretty much just do them off camera because if not, it will take a lot of time. But all I do is pretty much define my brows and then I fill them in. And then this is what they look like after my brows are done. So now I go directly to the eyes. So I'm using the, the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to pretty much clean the brows and as well use it as a lip primer just to cancel out any uh, colors. And then I just grab a flat brush and I blend everything out. And after I blend everything out on my um, eyebrows and as well on my eyelid, I like to go in and set that with a powder so it'll be easier to apply the eyeshadows onto my eyes. Okay, so yes, we are using the Jaclyn Hill palette and as you can see, double excitement. So we're going to go ahead and see how beautiful this baby is. I am so excited to use this palette, guys. It's such a beautiful, beautiful color. So I'm going in with that um, light shade right there. <laughs> this thing of having a monitor is very confusing. So I'm just gra grabbing a blending brush and I'm just pretty much packing that color onto my crease. And I like to work my way up as you guys seen on my previous tutorials. All right, girls, so now I'm just doing my other eye because of course, if you do it to one eye, you have to do it to the other one. So now we're using that burnt orange color. The only downside to this palette is that it doesn't have names on the eyeshadow or it doesn't have numbers, so I can't really tell you, oh, I use this number. So I just like to apply that uh, on my crease a little bit lower this time than we went with the previous shadow just to create that definition on our eyes so i like to stay in that area and i love guys no joke how pigmented this thing is it's like butter it's like i cannot believe it's not butter but in this case it's eyeshadow <laughs> so i'm just pretty much blending 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 and now i'm grabbing this crease brush guys honestly speaking crease brush is our god made honestly and I'm grabbing that darker brown color right at the bottom and I am applying it on the hollow part that I have the crease um, if you have hooded eyes or whatnot it'll be a little bit harder but you can make it work so what I did is I apply a darker color on top of the other one just to get a little more definition now I'm using that shiny metallic um, orangey color and I'm packing that on my lid guys but I'm going to town on that baby and that is the colors that I use on my eyes. As soon as I'm finished with one eye, I go on to the other one. And this is pretty much what I use on my eyes, guys. You know me, I like to keep it simple. I ain't got time for all that jazz on my eyes, honestly. All right, so off camera, I had to do my liner and my, and my um, lashes because the liner was not working. But I use a liquid gel liner and then I apply my Dodo lashes, which are bomb also. And I'm priming my face with the Bye Bye Pores by um, It Cosmetics. And I have been loving this primer lately, guys. Like, honestly speaking, literally, bye bye pores. Bye bye. 
<laughs> now I'm using a Nip and Fab color corrector in Salmon because you know, your girl got them dark under eyes like really, really bad. So I'm just applying orange all over my face just to kill all that. Oh my god, guys, guys. LA Girl HD Coverage Foundation. It is bomb.com. I am not exaggerating. So I like to apply it with this flat foundation brush by Vanity Planet, which if you haven't gotten your hands on it, you yeah, should. I am now using a flat top kabuki brush by Vanity Planet as well. I am obsessed with the quality of these brushes. Um, I have a coupon for them, 70% off. And then after that, we um, dance it off. And you get 70% off these brushes, ladies. And then we're going in with the amazing Miracle Worker Shape Tape Concealer by Tarte. And as you know, pretty much just highlight under my eyes and the high points of my face and my bigger forehead. And then I'm using the same foundation brush, but then I just clean it. And that is what I'm using to blend the concealer, guys. Honestly speaking, it does an amazing job of blending and I feel as it really just packs the color onto my skin. And don't get me wrong, I love beauty blenders, but lately I've been loving this brush. 70% off, guys. 70% off on 15 brushes. Synthetic, cruelty free. Gotcha? Okay. <sighs> I'm so tired of doing this voiceover. Alright, for powder, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder is my holy girl powder. But I'm using the Nip Fab Contour Palette and I'm going in with that banana color right in the middle. And I'm just grabbing it and putting it in my face and my under my eyes. So just set my under eyes and then I'm using the other powder to set my whole entire face. See, those brushes are bomb, guys, honestly speaking. Okay, now for bronzer, I'm using Derma Blend Bronzer. <laughs> Such an amazing bronzer. And I'm using the Angle Brush from Vanity Planet. And I'm just packing on the color and I'm using it as contour. At the same time, I'm just pretty much using it as bronzer. Because I love bronzing my face. I love bringing warmth onto my face. So I'm just here bronzing it up. Of course, chin, nose, and all that jazz. Then I'm going in with a beautiful peachy color blush from Flower Beauty. And I'm using the same brush. Then I'm using the Artist Couture Highlight, which is my pixie dust. This thing is beyond amazing. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Yes, I feel you, girl. I said the same thing. I said, oh my god. It's in the color Illuminati, and it's bomb, as you can see, and I just bathe myself. So now I'm just grabbing those two colors that I use as my transition colors on my crease, and I'm packing both of them on the bottom part of my eyes, normally with the bottom lashes are. And then I am using, to finish it off, I'm using the Kylie Send Me More Nudes collection, and I'm using, if I'm not mistaken, I think I used Bare. I'll leave it down middle. This color is amazing. I love this collection, guys. But we're not here to talk about it because I already talked about it. If you haven't seen my video, I'll leave it in the description box below where I talk about this amazing thing. So, ladies, in about a couple of seconds, you guys will see the completed look. And I really, really hope you enjoy this tutorial. And I really hope that you like the colors that I used. And I'm just going to let you enjoy my five minutes of slaying my camera. So, yeah. I love you guys. You wanna fall in love You get this feeling, wouldn't it be awesome? If you just kiss me slowly and have me in your arms If I could make you see it, baby, with me something Something to make the starlight jealous up above Oh, you make me okay But it's going out when I see you moving Alright guys, so if you are here, it's because you want to know my thoughts let me put my share a little bit to the back because my booty was like hanging. <laughs> so this um, tutorial was pretty much everything as you can see was used from the Murphy and the Jaclyn Hill palette and I am going to be very honest with you guys how I was with the Kylie and how I was with the KKW contour stick. I am going to give you my 110 honest opinion. I have no reason to kiss ass to anybody and if I don't like it, I don't like it plain and simple. Um, 
when she announced the Jaclyn Hill palette with Morphe, I was like, yes, so that means it's gonna be affordable. Because when she went and did her collaboration with Becca, for a face palette, it was kind of on the pricey side, and I was like, ah. Eh. But when I, when we found out that it was with Murphy, I was like, hell yeah! So, here is the baby. You guys have seen it on YouTube already. You guys have seen it on Instagram. It's a white and gray with, like, um, like silver engraved Jaclyn Hill, and then you have all her shades. There are 35 shades, if I'm not mistaken, if I can do my math. <laughs> There's beautiful 35 shades, and you have a huge range of colors. Like, you have cool tones, you have all these beautiful, beautiful warm colors, you have very dark, you even have a very beautiful burgundy here from that, that you can use all year round like I love it um, I'm not a pink type of girl or a purple type of girl so I am digging this palette yes it has a purple right over here but like that's it I just thought that the range of colors was super awesome guys honestly speaking speaking um, first off this comes in the box as you guys can see it comes in this box and then in the back you have her silly faces with a message to her subscribers so I thought that was pretty cool, but I was expecting the palette to be a different color. Reason why is because it's a makeup palette. So meaning you are going to be having it where all your makeup is and you are definitely bound to get it dirty. And if you're like me and you're very paranoid of getting, of getting your um, makeup palettes dirty, then this is going to be something where you're just going to be like, oh my god. And you can say it's stupid whatever but i just have that pet peeve i don't like getting my makeup palettes dirty with makeup i know it's kind of stupid that is the only downside from the um palette on the outside um the fact that it doesn't have a mirror it doesn't really bother me i mean it would have been nice so if you take this palette with you i mean a huge mirror right there would have been amazing but i'm pretty sure they would have to jacked up the price because of adding the mirror on um the palette um Guys, I don't fall in with the hype, but pigmentation on this thing is to a new level. Like, honestly speaking, pigmentation is amazing. I only use a few colors, but I have swatched other colors from this palette. And I have to say that the colors are super pigmented and super beautiful. I know she's going to have a restock. If you were not able to get your hands on this baby, you it's a palette that is you will regret for the rest of your life if you didn't buy it. It is this good, guys. Pigmentation, the colors, the blendability of the colors are super awesome. Again, you know me, I don't have to kiss ass to anybody, but honestly speaking, for the price, I think it was like $35, if I'm not mistaken. For the price, you have to get it. You get 35, if it's $35, you get like a dollar a shadow, come on. So guys, honestly speaking, um, all I have to say is packaging. I'm not a fan of the white packaging, but we can get past that. Um, I would have loved a big mirror just because it would be awesome if you only take this palette with you on when you travel. You have your big ass mirror right there and that's like BAM. But it doesn't have a mirror, it's okay, it's not like a big deal. Um, she put a little message where it says this palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers, XO Jacqueline. So I thought that was pretty cool. Well, anyways, guys, I really don't want to make this video as long as I, it has been already. All I have to say is packaging, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. Price, I give it a 5 out of 5. Um, colors, 5 out of 5. Range of colors, 5 out of 5. Pigmentation, 5 out of 5. Um, blendability, 5 out of 5. The way it lasts on your freaking eyes without a, eye prime, a shadow primer, 5 out of 5. So it's Francis approved. So once it comes back and stuck, ladies, if you haven't gotten your hands on it, please make sure you put an alert on your phone to alert you 10 minutes before the site goes up because I'll guarantee you it's going to be sold out again. So guys, thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Do not forget to go ahead and follow me on my social medias and go ahead and click that subscribe button right down there because it will change your life. <laughs> thank you guys so much for sticking till the end. Muchas besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Bye.